we wanted to kind of talk about the Miami Dolphins because they are the surprise team of the NFL. Six and three, Brian Flores is a candidate to be the head coaching or, or to be the coach of the year. If it weren't for Mike Tomlin being undefeated, it would definitely, without a doubt, go to Brian Flores. They're currently six and three. The question is, will they make the NFL playoffs? With that extra wild card seed, with the seventh seed, absolutely 100% they make the NFL playoffs. There are projections out there. CBSSports.com has a computer generator that calculates playoff projections. And they currently project that the Miami Dolphins have a 71.6% chance of making the NFL playoffs. So that was, those are some pretty good uh, odds for uh, the Miami Dolphins. Let's break it down a little bit further. They're 6-3. and three. Let's look at their upcoming schedule that they have for the season. Next up this Sunday, they face the Denver Broncos. They face the New York Jets after that. The Bengals, the Chiefs, the Patriots, the Raiders, and the Bills. Okay, so the Broncos and the Jets. If we're just basing it off of, I know it's the NFL, anything can happen. Surprise team. Yeah, the Jets could get their first win against the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, it could happen. But if we're picking favorites in these games, like over-under and uh, who Vegas has winning these games, the Dolphins are expected to beat the Denver Broncos, so they move to 7-3. and three. Next game against the Jets, the Dolphins are expected to beat the Jets. 8-3 and three right there. Then the next games you have, the Chiefs, Patriots, Raiders, and Bills. Four games right there. They're 9-3, and three, or they're 8-3, and three, okay? You're telling me that out of those four games, if they win just, just two of them, maybe just one of them, they make the NFL playoffs. They do. The Patriots, they have a shot of beating them. The Chiefs, maybe they lose, okay? But they beat the Patriots. The Raiders... It's a coin toss. They beat the Raiders. They could go 10 and 5. And then if they f- lose against the Bills, they go 10 and 6. So th- this is a very, very realistic possibility for the Dolphins to make the NFL playoffs in what was supposed to be a rebuild year for the Dolphins. No one expected Ryan Fitzpatrick to play so well. No one expected Tua Tagovailoa to go into the game with Ryan Fitz- Fitzpatrick playing this well. No one expected Brian, Brian Flores to be this head coaching candidate for coach of the year. No one expected this. And no one expected this Dolphins defense to really step up and really take the reins and be one of the main reasons why they're doing so well. We want to talk a little bit about that Dolphins defense. Looking at the numbers, they currently rank 19th in the NFL in yards per game allowed. Not very good. 19th in rushing as well. 19th, 19th in passing as well. 19, 19, 19. All across the board. That's yards. Doesn't matter, but what what they're winning and what they're doing so well is in the turnover game. Okay, they're tied third in the NFL in total turnovers this season. This defense is playing lights out on the on the the front seven and in the secondary. Even though they may give us some yards here and there, they got some interceptions here and there. Their defensive backs are pretty good players, and their front seven is not that bad as well. Uh, with the emergence of Christian Wilkins in the second year, especially. And they're fifth in the NFL and points per game allowed. And that is so huge. And that is a big reason. The turnovers are a big reason why they are fifth in the NFL and points per game allowed. Because if you can get a lot of turnovers, you can put your offense on the field for 30 minutes a game, which is how much they're averaging. They're 15th in the NFL and uh, time possession per game. You get this offense that time that they need to run out the clock and, and go down the field, just take their sweet time to score Get those turnovers, not allowing the opposing offense on the field that much. They're not going to score that much on you at that point. So fifth in the NFL and points per uh, points per game allowed. And that's why they're doing so well. Their defense has really stepped up. But like we said, their offense can be efficient as well, killing the clock and managing the clock as well. And all that does have to go back to Brian Flores. And you do have to give credit where it is deserved to Brian Flores. So this defense is one of the big reasons why they're doing so well. This offense is good enough. They're efficient. And they have a 71.6% chance of making the NFL playoffs. If they were to do that, according to CBSSports.com, they would get the sixth seed in the AFC playoff race over the Tennessee Titans, who would get the seventh seed. If they were to get the sixth seed, they would face the Buffalo Bills in the wild card. So that'd be two weeks in a row in week 17 and in the wild card that they would face the Buffalo Bills. So that'd be a triple header this season between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. But 
definitely leave your thoughts. If they were to make the NFL playoffs, which we just broke down the numbers and it seems like, hey, it's, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, it's, it's going to take a lot for the Dolphins not to make the playoffs. I'll just say that. If you feel like they're going to make the NFL playoffs, how far do you feel like they're going to go in this playoff race? Do you feel like that they're going to lose to the Buffalo Bills in the first round? It could. They could. I mean, it's a possibility. The Bills are playing out of their mind. That offense is doing really well. AFC East leaders and champions more than likely. But it's also a real, realistic possibility that the uh, the script could get flipped and that the Dolphins could win the AFC East as well. And that could change up the seating. So the Dolphins, great team. How far do you think that they're going to go? in the AFC playoff race.